Alright, um, here with another game. This is posted by Konata LS in my uh, Let's Play Didi and Immortal Collection thread. So, this is a map someone's given to me to play. They said they struggled on it in Monarch, I think, or something like that. They wanted me to do it on Immortal, so we'll see how that goes. Um, I can understand why Tokugawa is a hard leader to play. They said it was a slow start, so we'll see how it goes. I don't usually struggle with Immortal, especially in Pangea, but sometimes that can be very challenging. And you get harder Immortal games than some DD games sometimes. It really depends on the start, the leader, and the map. But um, anyway, this is him. He's got sucky traits. Uh, even if you do a lot of warring, they're still kind of sucky. I'd rather charismatic or just any kind of economical trait that's ultimately, you know, you could have a better maceman or you could get to ruffling 20 turns earlier and then have a ruffle instead of a maceman. <laughs> and it's like, yeah, economical traits are vastly superior to this kind of stuff. He's the kind of leader that you go, that a new player would think is really good because, oh my god, my riflemen have three free promotions. But it doesn't work like that. You could have infantry instead. Anyway, um, yeah, the stat attacks are not too bad. You get early pottery, you have the wheel, so your work always has something to do. You just need agriculture, mining, bronze working. Kind of sucks if you have an animal husbandry resource. Let's hope we don't. Unique unit is actually pretty decent. It's a significantly better samurai with two first strikes, drill one, and combat one. So... <laughs> um, that's a lot of promotions. Because combat one from aggressive and then two first strikes. Yeah, you have very, very strong macemen. So we will try to do some medieval wars. I love doing medieval attacks on Immortal because I can. Because I don't get rifling too early. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but yeah, it's not a bad unit at all. A very strong maceman. The shell plant is a coal plant with 10% extra production, and that's it. But uh, I guess that's okay. And yeah. Alright. Now, first things first. I may need to give the, D the um, uh, immortal barbarian starting text because they said they played this on Monarch. So, if they have Monarch starting text, I don't think the barbs will have. The, yeah, you see here agriculture, uh, uh, not advanced flight, no. Hunting, archery. And then these three techs will um, give them the ability to spawn archers in their cities. And yeah, they're meant to have those starting techs on Immortal. On Didi, they're meant to have the wheel as well. You have to give them these or the barbarian cities are going to spawn with four warriors in it instead of four archers. And then the AI comes along with one axeman or one chariot and takes all of them out. So here's our starting position. I want to move my warrior here because it's on a hill. I can see four tiles to the north, four tiles to the south, and also the three tiles right here that are hills slash jungle apparently. Can I have my music? Why is the music so quiet? I'll just turn it up in my end, it's fine. Alright, um... Yeah, uh, here would only reveal three tiles, here would only reveal three tiles, this reveals like ten tiles, so... Yeah. Alright, where to settle? Well, you might think in place is fine, you can cottage the wine, you can chop your stuff out, but I really think I want to move one tile south on top of the die. Settling here would give me immediate plus one commerce, and then I can cottage this tile later, no worries. But I get immediate plus one commerce the whole game. Still get my food. I get the bare grassland hill to build a mine on, which will be really nice. And I get the sugar to potentially farm or cottage for more food. Um, this is like a floodplain, you know? It's another source of food, potentially. And it turns out to be a happiness resource later in the game. 
But I really think, yeah, I just lose three forests and I gain this and the hill. That's the main two things I want. The bare hill, because I'm gonna go, go agriculture, mining bronze working with this kind of stuff. And after agriculture, you know, once I build a farm, there's nothing for my worker to really do unless I want to farm a grassland tile. But if I go here, I can mine this hill because that'll be in my borders. And yeah, I can mine the hill while I wait for bronze working. And then farm this straight after that. And then, yeah, my worker has lots of things to do. If I go here, he's got nothing to do. He just farms that and then AFKs until bronze working, which is kind of stupid. But building a mine here is a really good tile to work. So I think I will do that. And oh boy, they said this was a slow start. This is not a slow start. You have gems, dude. You have rice. You have marble. What the hell? Slow start? No, 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 no. This is a easy win right here. I will be very disappointed if we do not win the game. Mark my words. With a start like this, it doesn't go wrong. Alright, well, it's one of these games. Yes, I want to select agriculture. Thank you. Anyway, I shouldn't speak too soon. Maybe I'm next to Shaka. Nope, I'm next to Darius, which is also fine. Easy target to take out. And he's right there, apparently. Okay. I'm gonna try to get vision on his capital. Then I can get notifications if he builds any wonders. So I'm gonna go to this tile here. He's farming his floodplains. He hasn't researched animal husbandry yet. Probably taking that now. The Hannibal. Alright, who do we want to watch? I think we want to watch Darius. He will be my first target since he's this close. Almost definitely we're going to have a war with him. So there's a floodplain region up here, but I'm expecting him to either grab that or the pig. He will go one of these two directions. And he might honestly get to three cities before I can build my first settler. Because, yeah, he has his plains hill star. He's got the floodplains with the worker at the start. He's got the cow. You know, he can pump out settlers pretty fast in that capital. Um, he might be able to settle both of these before I can get there. If not, we might try to take one of these spots, but I don't know. Hey, there's his capital. Persepolis. Mr. Justinian. Yeah, this is a nice resource cluster. Like a city right here would be pretty awesome. Excuse me one sec. Okay. Um, agriculture. All right, now we go mining. Farmers See how quick we're attacking. We're at 11 beakers instead of the usual nine because we settled on a extra commerce tile and we're working a commerce tile. Like that makes a difference, man. Usually you, you only, you know, if if I settled here, I'd be taking at nine beakers for the first five turns, and I'm at like 11 now. Like this is pretty nice. Oh, they're pretty scary. Those guys. They are very dangerous. Alright, um, yeah, Brennus and Darius are the worst enemy of each other, just peace weight things. Minus six first impression, minus three first impression, yeah, no one likes Darius, he's gonna be a great first target. Alright, we're gonna take a look here, maybe I want to go here, maybe not, we'll see. Okay, we have a problem actually, the jungles could spread on the gems. Let's hope that doesn't happen. I might actually bring my warrior back home. See if we can help that. It's a little trick I know. The man who moves a mountain begins by carrying away. I'm gonna put my warrior on the gems. Hopefully he gets there before a jungle grows. Alright, bronze working. Alright, one more turn and then I'm safe. Okay. Now since my warrior is here on this tile, a jungle cannot grow here. It is impossible for jungle to spread on this tile. Because the jungle cannot grow on a tile that there's a unit, so we're safe. 
it will not ruin the gems and I'm gonna do that until my worker gets there because I really don't need the jungle growing there and I'm gonna improve this before the rice because yeah in fact I'm gonna go there right now I was thinking about mining that but we go for the gems so here's the thing you might go, oh, improve your second food resource first before improving the gems, but here's the deal. I have a six food tile. I also have a three food one gold tile to grow on. That's plus like seven food surplus. I do not need any more food than that in the early game. And by farming this, I only gain a food and I lose a commerce. I only gain one food, and that's five worker turns, not to mention all the worker turns it takes to get there. Zero production, zero commerce, it's just a stupid dry rice with four food on it. When I can just work this without wasting any worker turns, and it still gives me a commerce too. And I think just growing on these two is much, much, much better, and having the gems improved so I can get to bronze working faster is much, much more beneficial than wasting time on the stupid rice. So that's my reasoning on that. Like, look at this. I'm growing in three turns. This is pretty damn good. I don't need to do... I don't, I don't need to waste five turns building a farm and two turns to go there. It's just... yeah. Now, not too happy about the stupid bear being right there. We're gonna go over here and check out this region. Oh, why is there bears everywhere? What is this map? The Rampage of the Bears. Okay, so Darius has already grabbed this spot at 3000 BC. Pretty impressive with him. Not surprising considering he's got a reasonably fast start. He's got the Plains Hill, he's got the farm, he's already size 4. But yeah, it's okay. Let's watch Monty get eaten by a bear. Oh, we got more people. Wang and Monty. Okay, that should be it for the AI. We'll do this. Actually, I want to pump out the warriors now. Well, we'll see. If I do this, I'll grow to size 4 pretty quick. We'll do that. Actually, no, we're going to be working the gems tile in a minute. I need all the hammers I can get right now. Watch out for that bear. Yes, you guys go first. I think I'll do that. Three and three looks pretty good. Although bronze working in one would be perfect, so I can start chopping immediately. And I probably want to chop this tile first, since I will send this allows me to send settlers to the right, and it allows me to send settlers down south one turn faster, so they don't stop on these forests. That's the idea. I do not need to write this up just yet until I hit like size 5 or 6. Right now I need to pump out settlers and warriors fast because I don't have much production. I have one hammer. I could work that, but not yet. Oh, we got this punk up here too. We will grow to size 4 and then work the 3 hammer tile and probably get another warrior out or finish that warrior and go for settler. We have to be kind of careful here. The barbarians are very scary. I think I'll look over here with this guy and see what's down here. Maybe there's like a pig or something or another corn. Who knows. We're going to start chopping that. Oh, we have copper. It is oh, we have copper right here. A young man okay. killed in battle. Okay, okay. lie mangled by the bronze spear. Oh, I see. In his death. All things appear uh, fair. No, we will do that when we build the settler. Okay, so now we probably go pottery because there's not much else to really do. I don't need mysticism. Ooh, look at this guy. Yeah, vicious bear. We don't need mysticism yet. We don't need hunting. We don't need animal husbandry. I think pottery and then maybe straight to riding. to die. Well, I kind of need to go up here because there could be food right there for me to settle on with the copper. 
そうですかそうですか ?OK。We will put the chop into a settler and then finish the warrior the following turn. And this is fine. Alright, well, the stupid bear can go attack Darius' city. That would be great. Ooh, ivory over here. So we could look at putting a city like right here. Grab this and this. Get the copper, get the ivory, use the rice. You know, this wouldn't be bad. Wow, there's a cow there as well. Oh my god, maybe I'll go right there. Holy crap, that's amazing. There's a cow, there's a lake. There's, yeah, that's a lake because it says fresh water on these tiles. Um, copper, cow, ivory, rice, marble, you know. This is a pretty good spot. I think I want to take this. I'm gonna go here and chop and then build a road for my settler to traverse a little faster. So yeah, pretty good spot. I don't want to adventure onwards any further here, this is dangerous. I will get this copper naturally, but yeah, this one, still deny whoever's up here copper too, most likely, and then yeah, I get the, the stuff. Pretty good spot, in my opinion. So it's safe to go on here, and yep, we see that. Um, this guy can have a peek up here, try and get onto that forest hill, that would be really nice maybe. Hath not the potter power over the clay to make one vessel unto honor and another unto dishonor? Okay, we go writing now. It's a very fast start. Maybe I want hunting animal husbandry for these resources. So now I do have a reason to go for that. So I think we go hunting animal husbandry. They're very quick and oh boy. Oh wow, there's corn up here. Man, this is beautiful land. What the hell? Okay, so we need to focus on expansion and expand as fast as possible. And what the hell? Stay away from me, please. It's too early. It's too soon, my friend. What the hell? Ah, got that guy, though. He was really wounded, so why not take the fight? Please say your order. I can still remember my Japanese. Okay, so we want a road here. That will allow my settler to go here. Get there a little bit faster, and then uh, probably, yeah, I probably want to go right here. I don't want to go on the. I could go on the coast, but like, I don't get to use these tiles. So I think going here is much much better to use these tiles. Take the rice because the capital does not need all this food this early in the game. If you uh, chase two promotes. rabbits, you will Thanks. lose them both. Um, could try to fight that guy. I have a good shot. I think I will take the fight. Get rid of this prick. Alright, good. Good, 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 good. That is very excellent. Okay, you're gonna go here. I'm gonna go here so I don't have a unit cost and then I could just jump right here and then settle the next turn. Now I could road this up but I think getting the food improved first would make sense. I'm gonna need another worker here to, to improve that. Next up we want to probably grab this copper with another city, that's a nice tile to work. I think we will try to do like 3 and 3 here, if I can. Let's see, if I work this, I grow in three, this guy's in four turns, so I just... Could I use this? No. What if I did this? No, I don't know if I can really get both done in three turns. Just focus on growing for now, we'll sort it out afterward. Yeah, I don't know. I'll just do that for now, it's okay. So we could connect the city, but I think getting the rice for more production is worth it, and I will also take this fight right here, because we have enough commerce from the gems to pay for the city and still tech at a decent rate. Excellent. The 
this will become um, happy, so we need to finish this guy before we grow. That's fine. Okay, we drop the slider for one turn and we grow with a warrior. Use this tile here. You need to do this. Get that guy out. And yeah, 16 gold per turn, so it's fine. Okay, just grow to size, whatever. Uh, and then we'll start another settler. Grab animal husbandry. Alright, so instead of growing in 6, we now grow in 4. That's a huge improvement, and it's done just in time to get it in 4 turns, so that's really nice how that lines up so well. Here we will get this guy done and then start on the settler, and I'm going to actually work maximum production. The overflow from the warrior will actually go into the settler. And we could look at doing even more if we want. That will speed up the settler production at the cost of filling the food bar, which I think is kind of worth it. So after the warrior is done, I get a big push into the settler, and yeah, that will help there. Blessed shall be the fruit Horses. of thy cattle. The increase of thy kind, okay, you need to stay away. Of thy sheep. I will try to get on the hill here to fight that guy, maybe. Once I'm done healing. He won't come in for another, like, seven turns or something. So, right here we want to finish the road, most likely, so our worker can go back and forth quickly. It'll also give me the two health from this. How do I want to do this? What's the most efficient way to road this? I'd also like to road that up for the happiness. What if I go here, here, and then here, and then come back and finish this? Well, I don't know about that. No, I think just finish this road, then we'll get the gems after. We could also go into the forest. But this is fine. Okay, we don't need archery. Maybe mysticism for this city. Pop a border. So we've blocked off this area, which is nice. There's obviously someone up here, I would assume. Whose borders do we see yet? Just Darius so far. We know Hannibal's in the south, and Darius is in the south. We're in the middle, so there's obviously someone above us. We're in the tropical region. I'm going to go here just to scout the water. Right. Yeah, there's lots of land up here. We're going to put this guy... Am I paying for my units yet? No. Maybe down here. Yeah, now I get the settler in 9 turns, which is pretty nice, instead of 10 turns. Because of that overflow, so it's pretty good. Alright, I don't know what this guy wants. I'm going to go fortify on this hill. He will come here eventually and fight me. As we know, Darius got that spot. Okay, so we found who's up here. It's Brennus. Alright, so Brennus is up there to the north. That's fine. We've actually blocked him off, which is really good. Claimed all this land for ourselves here. Well, stupid Darius has claimed this, but... We got ivory! So guess what that means? Elephant rush. And I think someone right here is going to get it. <laughs> someone the old elephant rush. Yeah, so the road is done. I think before I... Okay, so we want a worker here, first things first. Before I improve resources and road, I think I'm going to chop this settler, because I want to expand. And that is the best way to expand, is just chop the settlers out. Nature herself has imprinted on the minds of all the idea of God. Can't really beat the 20 immediate hammers it puts into the settler from chopping. Alright, now we'll finally go writing belatedly, although it's still very early, we're doing fine in tech. And I 
should probably go into slavery. I think I'll do that when my settler comes out, then I can whip that worker. Okay. Just be patient with that guy, I think. Alright, I'm gonna take this fight. No, he munched his scat instead. Okay. Alright, that finishes that settler. I will also take this fight right here. Actually, no, I won't, because he's fog busting for me. And okay, plain scout here. Not bad. Let's go writing. Borders pop. Now we kill that guy. Okay, well, I guess I should move here. Let's hope that guy comes for my warrior and doesn't just attack the city. I'm actually a bit worried about that if he decides to come in. Um, if he goes here, I think I can distract him if I need to and then move this guy over. I might go for another warrior. Really need to make sure we got the barb secured. Okay, so it's telling me to go here. That's not a bad spot at all. Yeah, I would like that. Also, like something over here, though. Oh wow, there's fish there too. Okay, that's um, a pretty awesome spot. I don't think you can really argue with going there. <laughs> I don't think you can argue with that. Could go here, but. Do I want the happiness or what? Honestly, I need to get more workers out now. Let's try for a worker. Hopefully, this guy behaves himself. Maybe he'll go here and die to this guy, but need to be ready. Okay, this is a good time to go into slavery, too. While the settler's on the move. I think. If I whip out a worker, he can hook this up, and this guy can improve this city. So this guy may as well start hooking up our latest city over here, with the double food and the copper. Okay, hopefully he dies right here. Uh, would be a real shame if we lost that. We do have odds, not huge odds, but we do have odds. I need to, I can send this guy down. Here, I need to rope this tile to hook it up to the river. Oh, we got this guy here. Oh shit, he promoted too. Well, let's hope we win that. Oh! Wow! Kick in the teeth, alright. Okay! Okay, guys. Wow. Lame. Lame, 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 lame. Oh, what the hell? That is bull. Yeah, both of them 30% and I lost both. Okay. Ah, <sighs> that's kind of crap. Alright, so that was... That was that. That was right here, I think. Should be safe up here. Yeah. Fine here. Uh, we probably want a monument first to grab the fish. Maybe move this guy. Brennus can fuck bust and deal with the barbs up there. I need to get in my city. Oh, of course he comes in. Look at him going for the gems like a little punk. Stupid warrior can wait. We need the border pop, so I'm gonna chop this. Okay, gonna go here. Hopefully, he fights and dies right there, and then everything will be okay. Keep this guy here for now. Have another warrior coming here if I need it. 
And stupid Hannibal's gone this spot. Okay, we're already getting boxed in, but that's fine. I just need one more city to do an excellent construction rush. And something over here wouldn't be too bad. It could work some of the food, it could work the copper, and just grow a bunch of cottages in the capital. Similarly, something up here. Just work the riverside cottages for me. I think I will actually farm this and stick a city somewhere here to use the food and just grow off several riverside cottages. I think that's a good use. I could even go here and maybe get this one day. We have to deal with the barbs first. So on that note, maybe I should just go for the copper right now because these archers are being a pain. Dude! What the hell? 14%! Hit, hit. My hit. Hit, 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 hit. Okay, 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 okay. <sighs> what the hell? Yeah, dude, just get triple promotions now. Watch. He's gonna, like, triple promote because of that. Frigging BS. Uh, people tell me I don't need to go archery. This is why I go archery. This is why you go archery. Frigging uh, bullshit. This happens way too much. Okay, anyway. Yeah, he's got two stars now. Let's try again. <laughs> okay. Another warrior coming. Got this guy here to... If he wins, I send in the cover guy. That should finish him off. Like, dude, 14%. It's going to be like 14% again, or maybe 18%, but he should still lose. Right, thank you. True glory consists in Seriously, what deserves yeah. to be written. Exactly, 18%. Wow, my predictions are good. But anyway, what the hell? It's totally unnecessary BS. Lost two in a row at 30%, and then I lose this 14% as well. Okay, game. Anyway. We're okay. Everything's fine. Let's grow. I don't think any can spawn here. I have vision of this tile from this hill. Vision of these tiles. I have vision of this tile. So I don't need my worry there. Instead, I should look at this area because I probably want to go like on this hill here next. I'll move my warrior there in a minute. There was a killer warrior here that killed me before, so yeah. All right, masonry for the marble. Amaka aesthetics. Get some fail gold to go towards construction or whatever. That gets me my monument. At size 2, we will finish the warrior. Oh, it becomes a spearman. Never mind. And now we got this guy coming in up here. Alright, well, we can deal with that. I think. Do I want the spearmen? Yeah, but not really now. I think the tent and turn hammer loss thing just refreshed, so we can go for the granary first. It goes here. Chop finishes. Uh, am I even gonna have enough hammers to fight that? Shit, man. I need to whip. I don't know what I can do. Renis, help me. Renis, come in here, help me. Use your archer. I need help. Help! 
may have went that tall. No, he went to the wrong tile. I can't get the Yaxman! Oh my god. Okay, well... 50%, right, 45-25%. City defense, 25%. Barbarian city defense, 25%, 10% strength, I have 85%, I'm 3 point something big, 3.7 versus 3, but I lost a 14% fight, so I don't know what to expect anymore. Please don't screw me over, I'm one turn away from putting a unit in there. Let's not do this. Oh, oh. They're like 15% chance or something. No, wow, 30%. Jesus Christ. Okay. I was one turn away from getting the axe or another unit there. Hey, I think I'm going to do a settler for now. I want four cities and then I'll focus on infrastructure. Boy, it's rough surviving with warriors. Like, I could very well have lost that city. I will finish that axe and I will put this guy on the hill. I have better odds defending on a grassland hill than a flatland city. And we will go and improve this corn here. We have three workers now, so stuff is actually happening now. And what got built? Was that... whoops, whoops, whoops. The Great Wall and Stonehenge. Oh! Fantastic, so all those barbarians are gonna... Well, I don't think they will go to me, because there's no room for them to really get past, I think. I think it's all like water along here, you can see. This tile here is water, and then his wall is there, so... They can't go across the water, they can't go here, they have to go through here, and they're probably going to mess up Hannibal more than me, unless they walk through Hannibal straight to me. Which they do do sometimes, but, yeah. We'll see. Masonry... For my marble... Not their friends. That cities Chop the, the settler. High wall. Okay, I think two warriors can hold the fort up here. So this guy's gonna go make sure down here's clear. Like there could be a barb archer here that just waits for me to settle. This guy just fortifies right here with the other warrior and they defend together. Now, we could make a play for the oracle, but I don't know about that. I'm busy expanding. So this car. Okay, let's do what? We need cottages on these two tiles if we're gonna settle right here. I don't think we need a road. Oh, you know what we need? We need a farm right here. So the city can actually grow. Aesthetics. Probably want like two more workers. Worst enemy of Hannibal, I don't know about that. So we got the Hindu block, we probably, almost definitely want to be in Hinduism with our neighbours both in it. Hannibal is moderately aggressive, Brennus is very aggressive, Darius is an idiot, but yeah, we want to kiss up to Hannibal if we're gonna go smack Darius. And I think Darius is a good target. Nice land, floodplains, you know, floodplains, low production, high commerce, easy target to kill. Just make sure he doesn't get the longbows at like 500 BC or something. We're watching him, is on iron working right now. I would love to know where my iron is too, so I can make my aggressive swordsman. But we have elephants, so it's okay. So now we just sit back until we get a library, which is going to be quite a while, but it's okay. We're prioritizing our expansion for now. So not much happening, and here you just want to really grow and whip this thing. So work that crappy tile for now. Monument is done, we whip the granary into a workboat. And we'll probably want some cottages over here. One of these will need to be a farm if I want to irrigate this. Keep that in mind. Do I want to farm that one or this one? Well, if I farm here, it allows me to farm down here later. I guess it doesn't matter, we have the river there. 
And yeah, we'll be farming this tile for that. Darius is plotting or wait, what the hell? Wait, what? Whoa! I just said he's like not aggressive and he's already plotting. What, what the hell is this? Whoa, what the hell? Is he gonna immortal rush me? Holy shit, I need to get that spearman out. Whip that guy into the spear. What the hell? He's plotting? When does he ever do that? Wow, okay. Open borders and see what the little punk is up to. Dude, he might be coming for me with his immortal rush. That's dangerous. Open borders with our friends here. I better go check out what the little punk is up to. He's got copper in his capital, that's why he's plotting. But wow, what a punk. Wait, is it all because I stole the spot or what? I need to investigate. Looks like the barbarians have settled down for now. Alright, pumping out the cellar pretty quick now. Let's hook this up for happiness, I think. What are you up to, Mr. Darius? Yeah, Brennus grabbing land. I just want this one spot right here on Hannibal's border. Yeah, but maybe this is not really worth it. Maybe I go here instead. I can use the corn, I can use this, and that might be better. That rice probably is out of reach. He's got a religion there as well. What does he think of people? He's, um, well, he hates Brennus, he hates Monty, he is only cautious with Hannibal. So, it could be anyone. But it could very well be me too. Just because he feels like being a bastard. Okay, work that tile. Well, maybe I should go for that then. Well, since we're here, might as well grab this. Okay, we're gonna go right here. Still don't need a road, which is nice. as much food as possible because we're going to take the food away in a minute. Ah, uh, you should be doing that. Because I want that for two population. I'm going to have to change this around a bit. Make sure I remember to do that. Darius, you bastard, what are you up to? Need to check out that city there. It's the Great Wall in my face, and now he does this. What is he up to? Seriously. Um, I kind of want to road this up, so I might chop and then road my way to the gems. Oh, I can actually get aesthetics. I'm not paying too much yet. Is he coming at me with one arch? Whoa, he's stacking in here. Yeah, okay. What the hell is he up to, man? When does Darius ever plot like that? What the hell? What the hell? We go barracks for now. Uh, I can put them into the work boat, I mean, that's fine. <clears throat> Alright, I want a cottage here. And here, we want to tip up that into the spear. That'll give me a little more overflow. This guy is... shady, man. Okay, take this tile. Yeah, you... just do that. The Oracle. Please grow. Who built that? Byzantium, okay, of course. Wait a couple turns. Well, no, I'm gonna lose hammers on my guy otherwise. 
It's fine. It's fine. I need cottages pretty badly though. Twelve turns. Still think I should save though. Until I have a library up. Shop here and then improve the gems. Like the forests for now. Well, there's not too much in here. Ugh, go away. But I am gonna start building military because I don't trust these bastards. two guys in here, I don't think it's me, except these Axemen, where are they going? Look at all of these, pumping out the units, he's not kidding around, he does want to kill someone! Darius actually attacking someone! I'm shocked. Yay, you got a cottage up there. This is kind of yikes, but the fight boat's gonna basically be done. I could actually finish it this turn, which is pretty funny. Uh, oh, I guess I can whip it into a barracks. I mean, that's fine. Get my barracks done. I don't think dropping that cottage is worth it though. Just do it in two turns and we two pop up the granary at the food bar being half full and then we finish the barracks with the overflow. I think that's pretty fine. Yeah, he's pumping out the axes. Look at that. He's getting serious. Not coming for me, is he? No. Not yet. This library we two pop whip in a minute. Uh, I need this one, or I need someone to make more workers though. Okay, you need to now improve the cow. Hurry up. Only two guys in here. I don't think he's going this way. Judaism? No, I don't want that. He's on alphabet. Wait until this library finishes. Next turn we whip and the library will be done. Now Fibba will be half full for the granary to pump out its growth. And, yeah. We start taking in a minute. Okay, now we whip this. And we do that. And we start making units here. Although this would be a good spot for a library with how much food it has. Yeah, I don't think it's me. Uh, he's just sitting in here. We have to watch where these guys go. That's dangerous though, a lot of axes. Whip this. What are we doing in here? I think we can afford this, and then maybe a little bit of this. Uh, you take... Oh, we're not using that tile. We'll take that next turn in there. Alright. 37 beakers now. Now we're rolling. Get this road here just for convenience so I can get around a bit better. Start on the barracks here. And you can now take this tile. He's only at three cities and he's like plotting while everyone else is expanding up to like six. Oh, jokes, he just settled that. Okay. Oh, he moved down. Oh, where's he going? He's going to Hannibal. Wow. I'm gonna have to stab you in the back, buddy. Alright, I would like to put a mine on this tile so I can have some production in these two cities. I 
think we'll do that. When this is size 4, I will also whip a worker, and I think I will go into this. Kiss up to Hannibal immediately. Also gives me happiness. Yep. I'm um, sorry, I can't do that. He really wants that copper. He's got to defend himself, you know. We'll do that next turn. Yeah, he's got to defend himself. Yeah, he just went straight in. Wow. Darius. Darius. He's tired of being mocked an AI survivor or something. He's, like, deciding to do something. Although I don't think it's a very good idea. I think he's going to get his butt kicked. But it's amusing. Yeah, if I do that, I grow in one turn and finish the spear, so which means here we may want to do a little bit of that. Here we may want to do a little bit of that, and in here, well, maybe a little bit of that. For one turn. Get the cottages worked, and yeah, try to min-max our setup here. Grow our cities as fast as possible. They're all growing in one now, as you can see, so that's a nice little switcheroo there. And maybe... am I gonna grow much more here? Yeah, I will actually. I have a lot of happiness. And I'm gonna give my cap and my copper for another two happiness in a minute. So I think we will do that. And yeah, we mine this tile. This guy grows size 4, whips worker. We'll probably also whip a worker here in a sec. I need like five workers. I've got a lot of stuff to do. So there's my spearman, my first military unit, because he could have been rushing me. Alright, so he's just wandering around like an idiot because he doesn't know what he's doing. Ah, he's on this city. Ooh. Ooh, that's not very well defended. He might actually lose that. Oh shit. Wow. He he knows what he's doing, apparently. Alright, let's hook up the second copper since I'll probably give my first one to Hannibal. Now Hannibal has wine, so that means he's already got monarchy. Yeah, wow, the guy the boy is doing work on his tech, but he's not really defending himself. I don't think he has iron working yet. Yeah, uh, he will lose this city, I mean, those axes... Uh, the axes redlined the archers and the spearman cleans up the chariot, like, he's actually doomed. <laughs> Who moves first in turn order? Darius does! Oh my god, Hannibal's gonna lose his city! Holy crap! Wow! The Hannibal getting his butt kicked by Mr. Darius here. Yikes. Alright, so we want to hook this up. Now I would like to grow this a little faster if we can spare the food surplus here, although this is not really ideal. Uh, what about some of this? What if I did this to get the granary done fast and then I did this in here? It's just growing way too slow. I need to take a... Okay, this one... Okay, I see what we can do. We can give this here. And then this one can work the... Zero food tile because it's building a worker. So it doesn't actually matter if it has food or not. And then this guy takes the, the double four food and actually grows at a decent rate. Now, if I took the six food, can I grow in two? Okay, well, never mind. We want to grow in two. Yeah. I think that settles that pretty much. For a couple turns, you just do this and build the granary. Probably one pop with this later or something, I don't know. Actually, you know what's even better? If we take this here, and then this guy just works the cottage. I think that's even better. Now, would I want to take this tile here? Two and two, I think that's good. More important than the cottage, actually. Getting the necessary things built. Yeah. Well, Although it's just a barracks. We will grow faster working this, so I think that's still better. Okay. Min-max done. City management A+. Plus. Well done. Alright, so what do we want to do here? Well, we might lose the gold, so... Yep, he did what? He did it! I told you! I knew it! Oh my god! Wow! Oh, there he is! There he is! Wow! What a champion! He's doing it! <laughs> Look! <laughs> yeah. So, about that gold, my friend. No, he's gonna be a punk about it. Okay, well, let's 
very intriguing. I think I'll wait one turn. Uh, working all these hammers is actually kind of nice. If I wait one turn, I will have massive, massive, massive overflow into the barracks and just one turn the barracks. Really nice way to get production is just whip overflow from workers and settlers. Uh, I may as well road this tile while I'm here. Save me trouble later. I'm slowly going to produce units. Alright. Yeah, he's holding on to his capture and he's just cut Hannibal in half. Literally cut him in the neck. He's just cut in half, the poor guy. Would you like some help here? Go defend yourself. Do I need that? I think I want Hannibal to live because I want to kill Darius. Yeah, I know you're pretty upset. Here, have this. Defend yourself, buddy. We can cancel that later if we want, but I, w I want him to win, not lose to Darius. Because I want to kill Darius myself with elephants. I don't want Darius rolling over him and then becoming a superpower. Okay. Granary here, we'll get that one way or another. When this hits size 7, we can... Uh, probably, actually, no, keep growing to size 8, so I'm going to just keep making cottages. Okay. Yeah, he's literally cut in half. That was a good attack by Mr. Darius. Wasn't a lot of units, but it was enough to take the city. Just barely. He did do it. As you can see here, we have 85 out of 60. So you watch this barracks next turn, and then, yeah, bam. No, you deal with that crap yourself. Although I do want this. Yeah, we're gonna hook this up, so I'm gonna road my way there, and okay, he's got chariot crap coming, but it's not really gonna do much. I don't know why you would promote a spearman to shock, you idiot. <laughs> Seriously. A bit stupid, isn't he? Okay, how many workers do I got? I think I need one more worker, so I'm gonna whip one here at size 5 into the library. Barracks is done in the capital as we grow into another cottage. Take this tile, it's probably better, even though it has less food. Although I do want to take this, grow that city a bit. Yeah, it can still grow into like that, that's pretty good. Now it gets a size 8 pretty fast. This city... Do I want to take this here? No, I don't have my metal. I don't really need production right now because I don't have my metal. I'll just make a library for now until I have my own copper hooked up here. I think in here we'll just continue cottaging and growing off the cottages in here. And the city will run the scientists when we get the library up. Yeah, I think in here we can take this. And I think in here we can take a cottage. Take the fresh cottage because there's no library here. And I get the commerce boost in the capital from working this. And I think in here you can take this, and I think that's pretty good. Yeah, it's a turn slower to grow, but we could always switch over the following. Well, maybe not. Well, actually, I don't really have anything to build now. Freaking hell, I need my copper. Alright, well, go here and help out with that. It's almost done, I just need like a road there. Uh, I guess make warriors for now. Yeah, that'll be useful anyway. I could I could be pumping out X-Men and stuff now, but oh well. Oh, okay, we got this tile now, so in here instead of doing that you can do that. I will stop at aesthetics. Oh, he lost his wine too, right, thanks. Well, I got my copper. Well, that will now become a spearman, which is fine, I suppose. Well, I do need a warrior for this city here. Do I have a spare warrior floating around, or did they all die? No, they all died. Literally all of them. Let's take a look at this. How many warriors did I build? 
I've built six, and I've only got three left, so yeah. Thanks. Good barracks here. Okay, you just whipped, so you do that. Now you can take this nice tile right here. I might put a farm in this city somewhere just so it has a little more food. I think I will start chopping out military now. Actually, I'll probably wait until math before I go too crazy on the chops. I think that makes more sense. But okay, we're at aesthetics now, so I'm going to take a break. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back.